Today we're going to be reading Children Around the World by Donata Montanari. A world full of children. The world is very big. It is filled with children. They are children with black hair, blonde hair, red hair, and brown hair. They are children with dark skin, light skin, and colors in between. Children wear clothes of many colors, green overalls, yellow dresses, purple running shoes, and blue sweaters with stars. In Tibet, young Buddhist monks wear red robes. In Mongolia, children tie yellow sashes around their waists. Asai girls of Africa have necklaces made of tiny color beads. Children everywhere have families and friends. They like to play and go to school, just like you. Miguel in Mexico, Rosa in Bolivia, Tim in the United States, Adam in Canada, Fatima in Morocco, Stavros in Greece, Deepa in India, Min Chan in China, Tadako in Japan, Malaika in Tanzania, Kathy in Australia, Emilio in the Philippines. Come and meet these children from around the world. Ooh, let's find out. Hi, I'm Emilio from the Philippines. My country is made up of islands, 7,000 of them. My island is the most beautiful of all. It is never cold here, but summer is a rainy season. It rains for three months. My mother and father have a rice farm. Growing rice is a lot of work. We eat rice every day. My father catches fish in the ocean. Sometimes I help him fish, but during the week, I go to school. I have a little pet chicken. His name is Pepe. I hope he won't end up in the cooking pot like the other chickens. Uh-oh, look at that one. Hi, I'm Malaika from Tanzania. I live in Tanzania in East Africa. It is always hot here in my village. I speak Swahili at home. I like to wear colorful clothes. I wear my best clothes on Sundays when I go to church. Look at her beautiful skirt. My father works in the big city. When he is away, he sends us letters. I read them with my mother and my sister. It feels as if he is here with us. In our school, big children and little children all learn together. We are studying English. I know my ABCs already. Sometimes my older sister does my hair in tiny braids with beads on the ends. See how pretty it looks? Oh look, she looks so pretty. See her hair? Beautiful. Hello, I'm Ming Chan from China. I live in Beijing. It is a very big city. Once I went to see the Great Wall. I speak Mandarin Chinese. At school, I am learning to write. We write with characters. They are a little bit like pictures. By the time I am big, I need to know thousands of characters. Thousands, can you imagine thousands of characters? My mother and father ride bicycles to work. I have a bike too. I like to race with my friend. My favorite lunch is shrimp and steamed dumplings with rice. I use chopsticks to eat. My mother was born under the sign of the dragon. I was born under the sign of the tiger. That means I am very brave. Hi, I'm Kathy from Australia. I live on a farm in New South Wales. I learned to ride a horse when I was very small. 
My horse's name is Dave. He is gentle and he loves carrots. My parents raise sheep. They are sheep everywhere. Living in the bathtub. I think that's not real, but maybe it is. I don't know. What do you think? In Australia, we have animals you cannot find anywhere else in the world. The kangaroo, the wombat, the koala bear. Okay, so the kangaroo, the wombat, and the koala bear. Sometimes I go to town with my parents. I really like the lights and the shops, but all that noise gives me a headache. At the farm, it is always quiet. I like it here best. What about you? Where would you love to live? In the city or right there in a peaceful, peaceful countryside in the farm. Hi, I'm Adam from Canada. I live way up north in Nunavut. Nunavut is a territory of Canada. The North Pole is in the Nunavut. I am Inuit. Inuit means the people. In winter, it is very cold here, but my husky dog is never cold. We love to play in the snow together. I have warm things to wear. Boots, gloves, a hat, a parka, and a scarf. I live in a house made of wood. At home, we speak Inukitut. At school, my class is making a website. Hello, I'm Fatima from Morocco. Morocco is in Northern Africa. I live in Casablanca. If you fly over my city, the house looks like little white cubes. In the summer, my sisters and I sleep on the terrace. It is lovely. We can see the stars. That is so beautiful and quiet. Look at all those stars. My family is Muslim. We say prayers at home and at the mosque. When my mother goes out, she covers her face with a veil. For refreshment, we drink mint tea. My mother bakes really good cookies. She makes them with hazelnuts, walnuts, and pistachios. Mmm, I love hazelnuts and walnuts and pistachios. I think that's the perfect cookie for me. Let's see what else we have here. Hi, I'm Tim from the United States. I live in New York City. Mm, I lived in New York City too. It is full of skyscrapers. People call it the Big Apple. I like to go to the park with my friends. We play basketball and go in line skating. My parents both work in offices. They come home at six o'clock at night. When they are not here, Mandy stays with me. She is my babysitter. Mom and dad do not want me to watch too much television, but I can play computer games. Mandy fixes my snack, a peanut butter sandwich. Uh-oh, how long do you watch TV? How many hours? You're supposed to be watching only a little bit, maybe an hour a day. I live on the 31st floor of my building. It feels like the top of the world. I can see the whole city from the window. See it right there? Hello, I'm Deepa from India. My city is called Baranasi. The Ganges River runs through it. My family is Hindu. To us, the Ganges River is sacred. Many, many people come to visit Baranasi. They bathe in the river and visit the temples. I live in a brick house by the river. My mother makes delicious meals for me and my little brother. My favorite is curry vegetables and a flatbread called chapati. Ooh, I love the smell of curry. My mother is a weaver. When I am not at school, I help sell her fabrics at the market. Women buy them to make dresses called saris. When I am big, I want to be a weaver too. Hi, I'm Miguel from Mexico, or Mexico if you want to say it that way. 
I live in Mexico City and I speak Spanish. It is mostly sunny and warm here. I like to visit the market on Saturdays. They sell ponchos and lots of hot chilies. These are the ponchos, see? Ponchos, hot chili, mmm, hot chili right there. When I come home from school, I eat my lunch. My mother makes tortillas with cheese, beans, and spicy sauce called salsa. My father is a dentist. He eats with us too. After lunch, he takes a siesta. Siesta means that he's going to go for a nap. Okay, usually they come from work around 12. They go for a nap and they go back to work at 1. Okay. Last summer, we went to the ocean. We saw tourists from all over the world. I love swimming with the fish. What about you? Do you love swimming with the fish? Hi, I'm Sadako from Japan. Japan is a country made up of islands. I live in the city of Osaka. It is on a big island in the middle. I eat with chopsticks. My favorite food is raw fish. It is called sushi when it is rolled with rice. I also sometimes eat with chopsticks, but I am still learning, guys. And sashimi when it is only fish. Yummy. I sleep on a mattress called a futon. At night, I unroll it on the floor. In the morning, I roll it up and put it away. My mother wears pants and sweaters, but my grandmother wears kimonos. She gave me one for my birthday. You see that kimono right there? I like video games and comic books. In Japanese, comic books are called manga. Okay, right there. Hello, I'm Stavros from Greece. I live near a village in the mountains. We keep goats on our farm. My father makes goat cheese called feta. It is delicious. Ooh, I love cheese. I can eat cheese all day, guys. Every morning I go to school. The teacher reads us stories about ancient heroes. My favorite hero is Hercules. I have one brother and two sisters. We like to watch television. We cheer for our favorite team. Go, go, go! For a holiday, we go to the beach. My grandparents always come along. My mother packs a picnic with tomato salad and feta cheese. Ooh, feta cheese, I love it. We play in the sand and watch the boat sail by. Hello, I'm Rosa from Bolivia. My country is in South America. I am Aymara, India. I live in a village in the mountains beside Lake Tikikaka. My father makes boats out of reeds. Grandfather taught me how. I want to learn too. My mother looks after our sheep and our jama. Every day she takes them up in the hill to graze. With my brother I speak Aymara. In school we are learning Spanish. Lago, barca. Lake, boat. My aunt lives in the big city La Paz. When she visits we have a party. We play music and dance. Fiesta, fiesta, fiesta. More and more children meet Amel, who lives in Egypt near the pyramids, and Chinda from Thailand, who loves to dance. Here in Kiri, who lives in New Zealand from her front porch, she watches the dolphins in the sea. This is Elena, who lives in Poland and plays the violin. The world is very big. It is filled with children. Many children in many places, many things to do, many things to learn. If you want to meet more children, hop on the rainbow and fly around the world. I love reading this exciting book, guys. Let's learn about everyone in the world, okay? There are so many new things to learn. Are you excited? Children Around the World by Nonata Montanari beautiful beautiful book i'll see you guys take care bye